All right, so welcome to Pretty Motivated Vanity to Sanity Workout. This is a 20 minute workout to get your booty right, to get your arms right, your abs right. Mm -hmm. So, since it's only 20 minutes, that means it's going to be high intensity. So, grab your water bottle, grab your towel, and grab your mat. It's about to go down. So, first up, we're going to start out by running in place just to warm the body up. And then we're gonna step into a side step jack. This is just to get the body heated up and getting warm. And don't you worry, we are definitely going to step things up here in just a second. So you just want to warm your body up. Remember, I want you to rest when you need to rest. We will have a couple of designated rest sessions, but if you need to rest, by all means, take a break. But let's step it up. Mountain climbers, we'll go right in. Remember to drive those knees up to the chest as as best you can, mama. And we are gonna float right into skaters. So what you wanna do is take the opposite hand to the opposite foot, and then you want to get your rhythm here. You wanna hop as best you can from side to side, taking that opposite hand to the opposite toe, and then throwing the other leg behind you. It's just like a skater. Some people call them skiers, but you'll get it. And then we'll go into a reverse lunge. That's right, so you want to throw that foot back and get deep as you can or you feel comfortable with for the reverse lunge. Next up are squats. This is so good for the booty and the hamstrings. Oh yeah. So you want to make sure that your feet are a little more than hip width apart and then you want to drop it low, mama. You want to drop it as low as you can go and then you want to pop that up. So that is brings more intensity. It's not quite a jump squat, but it allows you to get maximum impact. And we are going to go right back to the mat for ab bites. So this is so good to get that tummy right and tight. Keep it toned, yes ma'am. So we're gonna keep it going opposite elbow to opposite knee and you wanna maintain your momentum. All right, time to switch it up. We are going back to push-ups. So I want you guys to know that you can do a modified version of this. If this is too much for you, feel free to drop your knees until you build up some of that upper body strength in your chest and arms, okay? And don't feel like you are doing anything wrong because that's a perfect way to build your strength until you feel comfortable doing a full push-up. And you wanna drive from your palms, all right? I know, it gets a little tough, even for me. All right, next up, we are all about the fire hydrant. I call this the fire hydrant because it looks kind of like a dog just doing his thing right at the fire hydrant. So you want to lift that leg as best you can and you want to engage your core. You're thinking about being like a tabletop here. And so you just want to drive that knee all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. <laughs> All right, now switch over to the other side. We gotta keep both sides even. Yes, ma'am. You guessed it. Drive that knee all the way up. All right, and as promised, we are going to get a little bit of rest. That's right, take this next 30 seconds for rest and remember to hydrate. And we're back into it, back on the mat for some in and out action. That's right, in and out, and in and out. <laughs> 
This is really great for engaging your core. So remember, when people say engaging your core, it's just a fancy way of saying, have your belly button to your spine as much as you can. This means your core is fully engaged, but remember to breathe. All right, we gotta keep the party going, that's right. Switcheroo, so we are going to do a 30 second plank. You wanna hold, and again, guess what we're doing? Engaging the core, no, yes, yes we are. So you just wanna hold it here, mama. Breathe as much as you can. Try not to drop. If you have to drop, I completely understand, but try to last as long as you can. Remember, we're only doing this thing for 30 seconds. All right, so we are off the mat and it's burpee time. That's right, it is definitely going down. So burpees are a blend of a push-up with like a jump squat. And you wanna jump as high as you can. Obviously, don't hit the ceiling, the chandelier, the fan, any of that. But you definitely want to jump up. And burpees are one of those compound exercises. So compound just means that you are killing so many birds with just one stone. And a burpee is a full body movement. So it works so many different muscle groups. You get so much bang for your buck and that's why it costs you. So remember, you're gonna have to pay to play a little bit here with these burpees, but stay in the game, mama, because I promise you are going to win. Back into skaters. So remember with your skaters that you want to keep your back flat and your core tight, mama. So bring that belly into the spine, but remember, breathe, baby, breathe. Now we are going to go straight into our squats. Drop it low, it's time to drop it low and drive it up high. And we're back into our reverse lunge. So we're driving those feet back and we're taking it as low as we can go. That's right, drive it back, mama. This is a great exercise for those glutes, hamstrings. If you want that booty to sit up high, then you're gonna have to get a little low in this one. <laughs> And we're back to the mat for some lay down push-ups. Now you want to basically do your push-up and remember if you need to drop to the knee here, you can absolutely do it. And then reach out as far as you can with your arms. This is so great for what people call the bra fat, for that little unsexiness that hangs over the top of the bra. This really helps with that. Um, because it really helps with that muscle that is right there. So you wanna drive it up as best you can and reach out. All right, so now that we're done with our lay down push-ups, we are back for some ab action with the bicycles. And remember, opposite elbow to the knee, you wanna keep your momentum, drive it in as fast as you can. Don't cheat because you will be cheating yourself, boo. You wanna keep your momentum, rest when you need to, but get right back into the movement. That's right, and you wanna remember to keep breathing throughout the exercise. Oxygen is so important through an intense, short workout like this. You really wanna make sure you're breathing. All right, now we wanna do a quick switch a route and then we are throwing it right back into a plank for 30 seconds you got it we can hold it remember to engage your core engage your booty muscles 
Squeeze those booty muscles tight. Squeeze those hamstrings tight. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Remember to breathe, but squeeze, mama. We're almost there, we're almost there. You're gonna make it, you're gonna make it because next up is going to be some rest for you and you get a quick chance to hydrate. Don't wait, hydrate. <laughs> and we're right back in this thing with kickback extensions. So you want to form a nice tabletop with your upper body and drive back with the ball of your foot. You really want to carry it as kick it as high as you can and feel that in all three of the major glute muscles in that booty or that Georgia peach. You want to drive it as high as you can. Remember, control movements are the best for our for our body to form those muscles. So don't be afraid to use all the control that you can. And then we're going to keep it even, so we're gonna do the same on the other side. That's right, and maintaining that same type of intensity and control. You don't want super quick, you want really controlled, great movements. So you can really form that mind-body muscle connection. right back off the mat into some squats. So remember, you want to drop it low and drive it high. That's the way to go, mama. So you want to stay into it and drive it as high as you can. Maintain as much energy as you can. You're well over halfway through. You can do it. It is so good for your body, so good for your soul. You are getting so many amazing benefits. You don't even know it yet. <laughs> so stick with this, mama. All right, and next up, we are jumping into butt kicks. So if you feel like I'm kicking your butt, well, you are the real one that's kicking your butt. So drive those heels to the back of those glutes. <laughs> All right, and we are back on the mat for some action. As some in and out action. So this is back to the abs, back to working all those abdominal muscles. Uh, women, as women, we stress a lot and we carry that stress sometimes right in that abdomen area, which makes it hard for us to lose some of those unwanted pounds in that area. So this is a great exercise to engage all those muscles in your core area. So you just wanna hold tight. I know you feel the burn, but you got this. Just a couple more reps here, and we're gonna switch it up again. Remember, we are almost done. And speaking of switching it up, we are back to our reverse lunge. Remember, this is so good for those leg muscles, your hamstrings, your quads. I'm telling you, boo, you are going to love the results from this move right here. Just get it in, drive it back. It also gives us a chance to kind of slow down the heart rate just a little bit while still maintaining some intensity. Into the heel touch. All right, so it is just like being in a squat position, but what you wanna do here is drive your heels up to the palms of your hands and get low as you can go, mama. That's right, you wanna rock it out here for as long and as strong as you can. We are getting a lot of up and down action, so we're back down here for some more ab action with ankle reaches. So you want to drive those hands up as close to your ankles as you possibly can. This is so great for working those upper abdominal muscles. So if you wanna think of that area just underneath your bra, um, right there in front, this is what this particular workout move is so great for working. So you want to continue to drive those arms up. Don't use your neck muscles, use that core. Engage your abs, take it all the way up. <laughs> Ooh. 
it's time to flip the script and we are going to go face down again more ab action that's right because we want to we want that tummy to be tight and right with the ab seesaw so basically you want to think of it like a plank but you are using your toes to drive the body forward engaging your core engaging your glutes Squeeze the booty muscles, squeeze the quad muscles, squeeze the hamstring muscles, and drive, drive that body forward with the tips of your toes. We're gonna stay here just for a little bit longer. Keep pushing, mama. You got this. I promise you, boot, you're gonna love the results. All right, so next up, we're back to some leg action with our fire hydrants. That's right, throw that knee up in the air, boot. Switch it over to the other side because we want to keep both legs and glutes even. You gotta have your right and left side looking the same. back into mountain climbers. Driving our knees all the way up into the chest as far as we can, maintaining that momentum. We are in it to win it and we are down to the home stretch here. And for the home stretch, we are going to finish strong with some burpees, that's right. So you want to go ahead, put that body all the way down on the ground, jump up, jump up to get down. That's right, get down with your bad stuff, mama. A couple more here, you got this. Stay strong, finish strong. I know it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Drive that body up, you got this. Jump it up, jump it up. And more glute, quad, hamstring action. We're gonna finish this thing off with some kickbacks. That's right, so you want to drive those heels up as high as you can. I know you're feeling it. I know you see those dro sweat droplets falling on the mat. That's right, that is your progress. That is your work, because you put it in, baby. Yes, you did, yes, you did, honey. You earned every, everything, everything right here, right now, in just 20 minutes. You did so much. You're so powerful, you're so amazing. Keep it going. Just a few more, we gotta keep both sides even. You are almost there, mama. Can you believe it? You did things you didn't even think you could do and you made it happen, Captain, because that's how you roll. That is exactly how you roll all day, every day. That's right, that's what's up. Now it's time to stretch it out. Let's go ahead and stretch out those quads. Go ahead and grab your toe, pull it back towards you. And you know you gotta stretch it out on the other side. That's right. Find your balance. Be better than me. <laughs> All right, and stretching out the arms. 
taking the chin to the opposite shoulder and doing the same on the other side. Stretching is so important. This is where you allow your muscles to really release. And then if you do have a protein or any kind of nutrients, it really allows those nutrients to go directly into the muscles, especially after a great workout like this. Um, so definitely want to stretch out those hamstrings and switch the sides on this as well. So I hope you guys are feeling really, really great. Bring it down to the center. That's right, you earn this, mama. And you are all done, boo. <laughs> We did it, and you didn't die. But you might be sweating profusely, so I advise do not wear makeup while doing this workout because you might get mascara in your eyes, and I am not gonna be held liable for that. <laughs> but no, seriously, applaud yourself. You owe it to yourself. You did a great workout. Keep doing this for the next four weeks, and you are gonna see the change in your whole entire body. That's right. So we will have a new workout for you next month. So stay tuned and stay in the app. Definitely put down your nutrition facts daily, your workouts. Check your progress. Check in with me and keep it going from vanity to sanity. <laughs>